This is a short tutorial on how to set up the AeroQuad software for use with an Arduino Uno microcontroller. So we here have the AeroQuad software open in Eclipse for editing, but we will end up compiling and uploading the software in the Arduino IDE 1.0 just for ease. So we can see here that to, just to get things compiled, we have to open the user configuration.h file, which includes a number of defines to determine your hardware for us. Um, the AeroQuad Mega version 2.1 works best just for the UNO. Uh, we didn't actually purchase the AeroQuad Shield, but this will serve our purposes fine. We have a Quad X configuration, that's four motors. And then we are just going to use Flight Angle ARG for stabilization without using a magnometer, just because our magnometer seems to be a little bit buggy. So that's just the accelerometer and the gyro. And then we also have the remote PC receiver uh, undefined here too. And I actually recoded that myself for use with our own 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And you can see more about that on the website. And finally, we have to uncomment last channel six. Uh, I've encoded about six so-called virtual channels into the receiver uh, from above. And so once all those things are uncommented, you should be able to uh, compile and upload the AeroQuad software just fine. So let's do that right now. Uh, you're, gonna, you're going to want to open it in the, Aero, the Arduino 1.0 IDE. Uh, but before we can compile it, you have to make sure that some settings are adjusted. So if you go to Preferences, you want to make sure that the sketchbook location is set to the location of the AeroQuad files. So you can see here that it is this file here with the AeroQuad folder and the libraries folder. And that ensures that it compiles and links all the libraries properly. So once you've chosen that and clicked OK, you're going to want to close the Arduino IDE and then reopen it. Okay, once it's opening, open the AeroQuad.ino file, and you can see it's already open here. It's got all the tabs for the number of different files. And we do have the Arduino Uno that we're using for our quad plugged into my computer. And that's on serial port uh, USB modem FD121. On Windows, it'd be a COM port. And you want to make sure that Arduino Uno is the proper board selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Upload button, which will come first compile it, and then upload the software to the board. So you can see it's compiling everything. And it is about 30 kilobytes, so it does take a little bit of time to upload. Almost done. I did find that if you have an error, a size error, it could be that you're using an old Arduino, and in that case you'd have to uh, reflash the bootloader and upgrade it to the latest one. So that's done uploading. So now that that's finished, we can go ahead and open the AeroQuad configurator which is right here, also available on the AeroQuad website. So we've already uploaded the flight software, and that means it should connect just fine. So I'm going to select um, number five here for the COM port, because I just know from experience that's the one it is, um, and click connect. So it takes about 10 seconds to connect to the AeroQuad. And you can see it's working. You can see that it's detected software version 3, a quad X, uh, receiver channel 6, all those settings we uh, looked at earlier. And it's got a number of our PID values that have already been configured um, for our purposes. So the first thing you want to do, if this is your first time using the AirQuad configurator, you're going to want to click the initialize EEPROM button right there. And that'll just reset all these PID values and other uh, settings just back to default settings. I'm not going to do that because we've already put a lot of work into setting that up and I don't want to redo all that. Um, and then after that, you're going to want to choose gyroscope calibration. So make sure that the copter is sitting on a level surface and it's not going to be moved or anything and click gyroscope calibration. And what that's going to do, and it happens, yeah, it happened already, gyroscope calibration complete. And what that does is it ensures that the gyro is all set to uh, regular values. So you can see if I go to sensor data, um, all the gyro values are uh, being zeroed out here. And then the next thing you want to do is do it for the accelerometer. 
and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video.